What's going on everybody? It is Jamie and welcome to the channel Thrift on Fire. Today I'm going to be heading to London, Ontario to the Goodwill bins. See if we can find some good stuff to flip on eBay or even Facebook Marketplace. It's always fun to go there. I will try to record a little bit inside. It is technically not allowed there so I won't be um, filming the entire thing but I might take a few little videos. So let's get to London and see what we can find. <laughs> So here we are at the Goodwill bins. I'll try to get inside and take a few short videos for you guys. Like I said, they don't really like you to uh, record in there. I have asked if like, are we going to GoPro in before? And they flat out said no. Um, so we'll respect that. We'll go inside. We might take a few little videos. I will come back out, show you everything that I got. Probably when I go home, but I'll show you the receipt when I get out. And uh, yeah, we'll, I'll show you what I think I can make from all this stuff. I hopefully find inside the Goodwill bins. See, some of this stuff is pretty dirty. I'm gonna have to soak this in OxyClean, so I'm taking a chance, but you know, lots of really great shoes in here. Got a bunch of these stamped it up stamps. I've actually had some hand in a lot of them up with, so that's pretty nice. I just had to take them out of this place. Alright, so I'm just getting out of the store. I spent $38.61. Everything in here needs to be cleaned up. Like these shoes will definitely need to be soaked in OxyClean. A lot of this will need to be soaked in OxyClean. All kinds of stuff. We will go through this much better when we get home. And yeah, I really currently wouldn't want to guess that I have what I have because some of the stuff that I got might not clean up and it might be redonated. I will spend a little bit of time. I will soak any of the canvas shoes and scrub anything that needs to be scrubbed. The hats will obviously be hand scrubbed and then potentially go in the washing machine, depending on the type of hat it is. Um, yeah, some sealed media, some wooden uh, games, some stamps, a little bit of everything today. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you guys, you know, a whole lot of live video in there. Hopefully one day they will let me just go in with my GoPro. I'll, I keep asking and they keep telling me no. So what are you going to do? So let's get home. Uh, I'll go through this stuff with you guys really quickly when I get home and then I will show you um, what everything looks like when I do clean it up here at the end of the video. One hour later. Okay, so I made it home. I have two bags full of stuff. We'll just go through quickly. I'm not going to talk about price, but I'll throw comps up on the screen um, here in a second. So these are a pair of vans. They definitely need a huge cleanup. They're going to go in the bin here to soak. As you can see, I just, I'm just going to fill this full of hot water or warm water in OxyClean um, and I'm going to soak some of these shoes and if they don't all come out nice the first time I, they'll probably get a second soak and if it's not good after two times I usually give up on them. Um, now these were just an off-white pair of uh, Converse All-Stars. They do need a little soak uh, and inside here <laughs> the laces are in here as well. Those are going to get a soak. A pair of Nikes. These ones maybe really don't need it but uh, I might give them a soak anyway. There's not really a lot of leather on this. There's a little bit, but mostly it's that meshy type of material, you know. These ones also will need to be glued. I'm okay with doing that as well. Shouldn't be anything too serious. That'll literally just be a little bit of um, shoe glue and that's it. So that's not too bad. It's actually missing this side as well. So these are actually in bad condition. So these ones, right away are going to have to go back to the donation pile or you know they're, they're not going to be sold by me anyway all right so that was our first dud um i try to look them up in the store or look at them as close as i can in store uh it is pretty tricky though i mean you're I, i'm trying to overlook how dirty some of the shoes are because they need a good cleaning so i obviously uh, overlooked the condition on those ones not the end of the world so these uh this brand is called dirty laundry i've seen the shirts before they're okay uh, i'm not going to soak these or anything they have a little bit of scuffing and stuff on them i don't know if you can see that but overall i would say they're pretty decent i didn't look them up but i will throw comps up if i can find them for you right now on the screen so we're not going to soak those ones we're just going to set them aside uh, i don't think there's any more shoes we'll try to do all the shoes first if i can get to them um, these will be soaked as well so this is just a pair of uh tevas just some sandals 
you know nothing crazy probably will sell for like 20 or 30 bucks um, but being that I'm probably paid 50 cents for them <laughs> uh, I will wind up soaking those as well just to get them a little bit cleaner now these vans don't have any condition issues on the bottom but they don't have any laces but I sold a pair like this not too long ago for about 45 bucks and they sold right away so no laces I might have to put laces in them I might sell them without laces uh, I will give them a soak and then just hit the sides with a, a brush and potentially a magic eraser pretty nice though you know there's no they're not coming apart anywhere no condition issues besides the laces pretty good another pair of Converse here these are with the uh, black with the rubber toe I bought my wife these exact same shoes a couple years ago from uh, I think maybe I feel like it was like the boathouse or something and they're not they weren't cheap but I should be able to still get these ones are a women's seven or a men's five so brand new I think these are like something like 60 to 70 dollars something like that I could be totally wrong I haven't looked them up looked up new in a long time for Converse um, but even used these should sell for probably 45 or 50 dollars uh, that's free shipping and then on Poshmark they're probably gonna sell for about 35 bucks you know that's pretty good so once again don't have very much money into these I've got a pair of Toms these ones still have the uh, the sticker on the bottom they don't have brand new tags but when you actually looked at these like I won't soak these ones for sure I'll just wipe them off they don't look like they've been used at all uh, Toms isn't something I normally pick up but in this kind of condition like new condition uh, a pair of just basic Toms I'm definitely gonna pick them up even if I only get like 30 to even if I only make 15 to 20 dollars on these that's still fine let's put it that way I don't think I'm gonna make a killing on those I don't have to soak those ones as well they're pretty much good to go uh, these ones also will not get soaked it's a pair see these were at the Goodwill there's a tag right there they're at the Goodwill for eight dollars and 79 cents and nobody nobody bought them but I think if I clean these up just whiten up the edges wipe them off nice and clean the bottoms are already nice I think I should be able to get about 45 or 50 dollars for these no problem so through with the first bag here uh, I got a few hats this is a uh, Talladega Nights Ricky Bobby hat inside it says 2006 uh, it's nothing special it's a hook and loop or velcro but let's say hook and loop uh, back on it pretty nice I'm gonna throw this in the shoes for some oxyclean this is a Mack truck hat mesh back uh, same thing actually still has a sticker on it which I'm gonna have to remove obviously if I'm gonna soak it so we'll just remove the sticker uh, yeah Pretty nice hat probably gonna be I don't know I'll, th I'll throw it up on the screen but I'm gonna guess I'll probably make about 15 bucks off of that guy and then this one is super dirty unfortunately I'm gonna have to remove this sticker um, because I'm gonna soak it but sometimes you can salvage them and reuse them the sticker but I don't even care that much to be honest uh, so I've got a white spot where that was so that kind of gives me the color that I'm going for this is a really cool that's a vintage uh, Jay's logo and it's Toronto on the back new era hopefully this cleans up I'm gonna soak it and scrub it and probably need to soak this one two times but we'll see definitely a cool hat a few more items here uh, these are pretty cool now mostly nothing in here I would think has to be soaked this elastic is giving me a hard time well here's one of them um, now these do sell for good money I probably am gonna keep them for myself the last one that I the last couple ones that I've had I listed and then used them until they sold and then haven't been able to find any for a good good price so finding these at the bins pretty good a good that Goodwill wanted four dollars and uh, 49 cents I'm sure I paid a lot less as I paid less than forty dollars for everything you've seen here um, yeah probably keep this one for personal use just trying to get rid of this Goodwill sticker uh, I picked up this little postcard for myself this is the vintage Toronto it's cool it's got the CN Tower and at this time I'm sure that was probably still Skydome there was no year on the back of this maybe outside of the store here uh, no I still, still don't see a year I just picked this up for myself I'll probably put it in my fridge for a while and enjoy it uh, this book I looked it up it looks like it's gonna go somewhere between 15 to 25 dollars it's a human anatomy book um, I don't know if you guys can see any of that you know books like this medical books not this isn't really a medical book student 
consult.com. So it is, I guess, a student book, but regardless, stuff like this normally does sell pretty good for me personally. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna say it's probably worth 25 bucks. I'll throw some comps up if I can find them. Uh, this is a little Mario uh, side bag I found, I believe. I'll try to look into this a little bit more, see if I can find it on Google Lens and, and throw something similar up on, on the screen for you. But I believe maybe you put your 3DS or your DS or something in that. It is pretty cool though. Um, same with this guy, I didn't look him up. Uh, I think, I tried to look at the bottom in the store. I believe it says, I'm still having a hard time. I think it's like 19, I don't know if it's 1989. I will find the exact one and throw up on the screen for you right now. Uh, even though I don't know the second, you'll still be able to see it here on the screen. So that's cool, this is Transformers. I believe it's vintage, um, not 100% on that. Found a couple DVDs. This one is sealed brand new at Walmart, it was $7. I'll peel that off, and because it is brand new and sealed, I'll probably still get probably ten dollars, uh, and then send it letter mail. So that's still like ten bucks, you know. That's not a, for me. That's pretty decent. I, I don't mind picking stuff like that up. Still, Friends first season. I didn't look up what it was worth, but being it was the first season, I just picked it up anyway. It might only be worth, you know, whatever. I'll throw it up on the screen. I kind of feel like it might be worth fourteen dollars, maybe, but I could be wrong on that too. Now these are a whole bunch of Stampin' Up! stamps. In a video sometime last year, I bought some of these at Goodwill and I still have them, I didn't sell them. So you, you might be thinking to yourself, why is this guy buying more? And not just like a couple, a lot. How many more is in here? There's a few. So total we have one, two, three, four, five, Six Stamp It Up stamps, a little collections here. I'm gonna lot these up and I'm also gonna delist the ones that I currently own and put them with this lot and hopefully I can sell them all together for some pretty decent money. Even if we only got $5 a piece, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, plus the other two that I have. So maybe 40, $45. That pretty much pays for everything that I bought today if you wanna look at it that way. Um, and I'll throw similar lots up so you can see that I'm not totally crazy. It could be worth a little bit more, could be worth a little bit less, but I do feel like this should sell in a big lot a lot faster than individually. Now I did pick up a couple personal items I'll show you quick. This is just a little teddy bear for my wife. Uh, it was right from Goodwill, nobody picked it up. We collect some of these Beanie Boos. Uh, I don't know if she'll want this one. If not, that's okay. I can either redonate it or give it to you, a niece or nephew or something. It's very cute, super cute, super clean. Uh, I picked up this football. Gonna use it, we're having a family function on the weekend, so I figured we'd use it for the family function, and then I'd probably list it on Facebook Marketplace for maybe 10 bucks or something like that, and see if I can get someone to buy it. So definitely all right. I, there's nothing wrong with this thing, it's just like brand new. So yeah, you could sell it on eBay as well. I probably won't. I'll probably either, like, like I said, keep it. Definitely gonna use it for the weekend, and then after that, if I feel like you know, it's just gonna be in the way, maybe I'll try to sell it on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, another personal item. You know, so there are a few personal items here, just uh, clothes hangers, right? Or clothes pins. Nothing, nothing fancy, you know, you probably could still get these at the dollar store or whatever, but those were gonna go, you know, I don't know, wherever Goodwill stuff goes, probably nowhere good. Um, then I got a whole bunch of these. I know some of the clothing and stuff, and gets compacted in bales and cut up and stuff like that, but uh, some of the stuff I'm never really too sure. So I found a whole bunch of these, these are Melissa and Doug. Uh, this one is different, I believe. Melissa and Doug, they're just wooden, wooden trains, right? I'm gonna lot this all up. This is Melissa's Doug as well. Melissa and Doug, I'm trying to say. A uh, little cart. These are all like, sort of like the Thomas ones that are magnetic. I am just gonna lot these up in one lot and sell them all together. I don't know that they're gonna be worth a lot, a lot of money, but I'll try to find something similar online so I can compare it to, to show you. Another one. These are all, all Melissa and Doug. Uh, there were some tracks and stuff there too, but trust me, I don't need any tracks. Let me show you. I've got these listed on Facebook Marketplace right now. This is all wooden tracks underneath it there and whatever, more of these things. So I don't need more wooden tracks, I can guarantee you that. Now this last one is a little bit different. Um, I can't see it very well. But I'll have, to, I'll have to look it up and I will put it up on the screen for you guys. I'm not sure which one this is exactly, but this is uh, from Thomas Train. There's the little face there. And it does say in the bottom it's stamped. I just can't see because I need my glasses and a little bit more light. 
uh, from where I'm sitting. But uh, yeah, I, I do believe this thing's probably anywhere about 10 bucks, which is crazy. Seems like it wouldn't be worth very much at all. All these ones together might only be worth $20. I'm not really sure, maybe even less than that. But some of these Thomas ones were good money. I've been selling some Thomas trains that came with the, the tracks and all this stuff I showed you. Um, and they've been selling pretty pretty cons consistently for maybe $15 to $25 plus shipping. So I do feel like this one probably is gonna be worth at least 15 bucks, but I could be wrong on that. All right, nothing too crazy here. I'm just using some OxyClean. I'm gonna put in, I believe, maybe one and a half scoops. Maybe we'll go two scoops actually. I'm gonna add some water and then we'll throw in the shoes. So now I'm probably gonna let those sit in the uh, water for the OxyClean bath for probably about four, maybe five hours. Then I'm gonna empty it out, uh, potentially hand scrub anything, and then put it in a bath for a second time. I won't show you all that procedure or process, and maybe I won't even have to do that, I'm not really sure. But what I will do is when this clip ends, you'll see what the shoes will look like uh, that are good, and if there's any I have to get rid of, uh, much like these guys that aren't gonna make the cut, I'll show you that as well. So first I'm gonna show you this Blue Jays hat. It turned out really nice. Um, I think two OxyClean baths, and you know I've reshaped it a little bit on this mannequin head. Uh, we have these Converse, these white Converse turned out really good as well. Uh, I did uh, soak the laces wherever they went to. The black vans turned out nice. They're a little dirty here. I just need to hit with a magic eraser, but overall pretty clean. I haven't done anything else to those. And same thing, just soaked these guys as well, and they turned out Really nice. So probably not a huge surprise. Anything that's just canvas or material, if you soak it long enough, you can get most dirt out. Uh, this didn't require any scrubbing at all. I will go back and clean up the rest of the shoes here with a magic eraser or whatever it needs to be cleaned up with. As you can see, I do have a pretty big bin right now. I've been back to the bin since I filmed this video. This is a few days later, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get to that right now. If you guys like videos like this, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel for more content. Till next time, take care, stay safe. We'll see you soon, bye-bye.